All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to data log your Ford Mustang using an SCT X4 programmer. And this video is gonna be a little bit different than some of the ones you've seen because it does not require a laptop to do the actual data logging in the car. All you need is your little Magic X4, and then you can take it to the laptop afterwards, which is what I'm going to show you. So you don't have to keep your laptop in the car while you're driving. So, uh, really quick here, we got the X4 plugged into the OBD2 port under the dash. Uh, and we're going to go down to where it says data log. Let's say select. It's going to say turn key on. So, in a 2015 Mustang, we just have to press the start button one time to get the everything to light up. Uh, you can say continue or you can go to config. Uh, if you go to continue for the very first time, it's going to take you here anyway. So, we're going to say configuration and make sure we're selecting the right one. You need the one that says Ford, Gas, 08, and newer, if that's the kind of car you have. Uh, if you had a custom config file we sent you, you could have preloaded it to your device and it would be right here, showing us Schrader. Uh, so we're gonna say continue. And it's gonna load up everything. You're gonna see a couple of items that show up on the screen here where it's trying to record data already. Um, Keep in mind that it's not recording yet until you hit record, which is this little center button. So when you hit the center button, it shows record on the screen. Now it's recording. So uh, optionally, what you can do is you can go in and change the view of what you're looking at. We'll do that real quick here. You can actually go down and say select gauge layout. I usually like this one down here, which has eight different items on the screen all at once. And then you can also go in and individually select what you want each of one of those things to show you. But for right now, we're just showing you how to record. So uh, what you would do now is you would start the car, go drive around, set this little guy in the passenger seat. And once you've gone and collected the data that you're looking for, doing whatever procedure we asked you to do, or whatever it is that you want to see it do, uh, before you turn the car off, you need to stop the recording. And to do that, you hit the little center button again. And it has stopped recording and it saved the file on the X4. So this thing can only save one data log file at a time before you have to take it to the laptop and extract it out. So once you've got this saved, you can now turn the car off, unplug the X4, and then we're going to go over to the laptop and we're going to open it up in live links. So we're going to do that right now. So we're going to turn the car off. Okay, we're going to unplug the X4. And we've already got our little USB cable attached here that goes to the laptop. Bear with me here as I get the laptop up and ready. Okay. All right, here we go. Laptop, I'm gonna show you a live link really quick. This won't take long. All right, I just plugged in the X4 to the USB. Now we're gonna go to, if you don't already have it, you'll need to go to the SCT website and go grab live link. You do that through sctflash.com slash support. Zoom in there so you can see that right there. All right, now you're gonna select X4 down here and then it's gonna say downloads. And the one you need is over here on the left it says live link, download now. So what you do is you actually click that guy and download it to your computer and open it up, all that good stuff. All right, we're gonna cancel that because we already have it. Now we're gonna open up Live Link. All right, this is Live Link. Now what we wanna do is get our data log file that we just created for the car into Live Link. So first thing you gotta do is go over here to where it says COM or communication. Click on that. We're gonna communicate with the X4. It does not have to be plugged into the car at this point. All right, it's going to come back. It says we're connected to the device only, which means we're not connected to the car. If you connect it to the car, it'll also have strategy down here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is import the data, which is right up there. Import data. And it's going to bring in all of our good information from the box over here into Live Link. Super easy. Now, you don't have to understand what all this stuff means because you're probably just going to be sending us a file anyway. So all you want to do at this point is save the file on your computer and send it to us. And you can do that through save, then save all. 
and then just tell it where you want to save it. Say save. And you're good. Go open up an email and send us that file and we'll do the rest. So that's it in a nutshell.